right, all right. Good evening, everybody. Here we go. Monday night. I don't know how long we're going to be here, but Monday night, one after dark. Yes, yes, yes. Good evening, everybody. Hold on. Let me check. All right. Volume should be fine. Let me put this over here. Folks, again, these are available in the shop. One after dark, the original shirt. Available for you in the shop at depetro.com. All different sizes. Perfect summer t-shirt. Now, I want to thank everybody. That was um, that was pretty amazing. I haven't even had time to edit um, the video from the arm standoff. Hold on. Now, let me check with Roberta Farrell and make sure that we are good with Team One. And I think we are going to be good, but I don't want to just double check. Folks, again, we're going to be uh, very busy, as you can imagine. Things are already heating up. Cranston PD Live this Friday night. This Friday night. On Saturday night, I'm, I'm not sure about that. I think um, we're going to be out. Yes, thank you. There's Roberta. All right. Now, here's what we're going to do right now. Um, and again, good evening, everyone. Let me do a little roll call. And then... Um, my goodness, folks, Juan is trying to juggle. This is not going to be that long. I actually have another meeting I have to go to, something I've been working on. But um, I will have the edited video. That North Kingstown, folks, if there's anyone that's wondering about the power of first one on the scene live stream, I mean, that was a good example. It wasn't like there was no other media there. There was no other media that was there. There's Tommy Bryan. Folks, we got to get him some clients. I want to be successful. Hi there, everybody. All right. So there's Nancy McCormick. I think Wednesday night we're going to do something with Jane and Nancy. I'm not sure. We're trying to work it out, folks. Uh, my afternoon got blown up, right? Suddenly I'm I'm off to the arm standoff in North Kingstown. I haven't even had a chance to um, edit that. And then um, and you can tell Juan did get some sun, the independent. The uh, Juan lawn is coming in nicely thanks to this. Jeff Hearn. good evening, one and all. Thank you for the stars, folks, on this Monday night. Now, now, as I have been telling you this, and I hope uh, David Sammartino, again, happy birthday, David. Oh, it's a little bit late. Folks, share that you are watching. Um, you remember Saturday night, we had the situation, and I want to make sure. I'm going to give David a shout-out because he was kind of walking me through it. And, um, and we had the situation with in Warwick where you had armed suspects. Now, for security reasons, I'm not going to give, we're not going to show the individual who you're about to hear from. But no one has heard this. There's been no coverage in the news. I did email work police. I'll let you know when I hear back. But this is someone that I have verified her story. She has watched my video. She knows that Juan was the only one there. And, um, and so we're going to get her on the line right now. And I'm not going to identify this individual who, um, hold on. Is that, oh, here we go. Okay. And you should be able to hear her okay. You should be able to hear her okay. I'm confident you'll be able to hear her okay. All right. Now we're just waiting for her to. Hello? All right. There you are. Now, um, I'm not going to give your name. Can you just count to 10 for me? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. All right. Um, I thought I was going to have you a little louder, but this should work. But here's what I'd like to do. Here's what I would like to do. No, no, no. It's fine. But I want to walk through um, without getting too much into the details. But I want you to kind of fill in the blanks. I've spoken with you. You, you did see my video from that Saturday night. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And, and I want you to just speak up nice and clear and firm as we're talking probably project your voice a little bit louder than you normally would but that saturday okay. night you saw i don't know about that night but you've had a chance to watch as i was out as they were doing the manhunt in warwick for the armed fugitives yes okay remember nice and loud so okay. so uh, okay <laughs> so now um, I'm going to fill in the blanks a little bit. So when you answer, again, you know, I want you to, I know it's a little unusual, but but your vehicle was stolen out of your driveway from Warwick Neck. 
Yes, it was. Yes. Okay. And just take us through a little bit some of the details of what you've learned of who it is that stole your vehicle and who the police were looking for. Um, I don't know if they've been arrested. I don't know the, the four males. I, um, I have not received a phone call from the Warwick Police Department. All right, if they were arrested, you'd know by now. So they have not been arrested. But who is it that the police were looking for that stole your vehicle? They were looking, as far as I was told, they were looking for four um, black males that were, um, they, they had guns, and that's pretty much it. Well, that's, that's more than that. Um, they had drugs. Yes. Right? They did. So, yes. and they stole your car out yes. of your driveway in Warwick Neck. Yes. Where all of a sudden, police were knocking on your door because they yes. had the registration for your vehicle, correct? Yes. They okay. Did. Now, now we pick up. We believe they were trying to get towards the highway. And that's yes. how they then ditched your car at Jonathan Court. Yes. Okay. Now, that was the Saturday night. It then, and you and I chatted, you were surprised at just how hard that rain came down, and it came down very quickly. Yeah. Yep. I'm very surprised. I thought it was not raining at my house, but I saw your video, and it was um, it was raining quite heavily. Oh, oh it was raining. <laughs> Yeah. It was raining. Now, the element of the canine and the drone and the fugitives, that was thrown off. But you had four individuals. And again, now you're, this is so important because it's gotten no media coverage. But you know for a fact they were armed. And then they, from what we understand, they showed a weapon at Jonathan Court. Yes. Wow. All right. Tell yeah, us about. Go ahead. Tell us about the condition of your vehicle right now. Um, it's totaled. I learned last week that it is totaled. And because of them hitting the uh, curb before they went through the person's fence, they uh, ruined the engine, and there is a total loss in the vehicle, and I will not get my vehicle back. Um, but looking at it, it doesn't look bad, but um, it's totally unserviceable and underneath the wheel they were able to take everything apart underneath and it's the one of the most extensive jobs that the garage has seen as far as a breaking in for a car so but that's where they left off is that i will not get my vehicle back wow all right now here's what we're going to do i have um and this is unusual but folks this is a first-hand account all right it's 722 um I have someone from law enforcement who wants to talk to me about the situation. We're going to we're gonna break one after dark. We're going to come back before 8 o'clock. So there's just the beginning. Um, we're going to take a quick break, and uh, I, I will call you back in just a little bit, okay? Okay. Okay. And then again, folks, not trying to be evasive here, um, but I did um, just get a text message from someone in law enforcement that wants to speak to Juan. So, listen, it's beautiful out. It's a nice Monday night. We are just getting started. Obviously, Juan has rattled the cages, but someone who I trust in law enforcement just said, I need to talk to you about this situation. So, folks, we're going to break. I will be back before 8 o'clock. I'm going to reach out, speak to this person right now, and then, um, and then folks, we're going to be back with Juan after dark.